Okay, I'd like to discuss some basic limbing techniques. First of all, we've got to be absolutely sure that the tree will not roll during the limbing process. If the tree were on a steep grade or any kind of a hill, we would want to work on the upper side of the tree. If there's any doubt, any question that the tree might roll, then we want to shim the tree or block it in such a way that we'd keep it from rolling. We don't want to find ourselves underneath of the tree where we might risk having the tree roll on us or a limb fall on us. So we want to be sure that we're working in a position that's safe. Now, if we were working on a conifer, a small conifer, it would be a little different in this particular situation where we'd have small limbs, we'd be using a very high RPM chainsaw and knocking the limbs off in a, a slightly different technique. Here we've got heavier limbs. Now here we have a limb with downward pressure. Here we have a limb that's more upright and back over here we've got a limb with pressure upward. So in this case, I may, I'm going to want to start with an undercut. In some cases, perhaps a small face notch so that the limb would fall in such a way as not to pinch the bar of the chainsaw. When I get to this more upright limb, I'll make a face notch and a back cut from behind so that the limb will swing clear of the tree. When I get to the limb that's under tension, upward tension, I'll want to start with a small top cut, but I don't want to go too deep because that would pinch the saw. I'll release from below. Now, as we work through the tree, we want to rest the chainsaw on the tree whenever possible. That'll help reduce fatigue. We want to keep the saw close to our body. We want to always have the thumb locked around the bar at the top. And any time that I need to remove one hand from the chainsaw so as to clear a limb out of my way, I'll use the chain brake. Two hands on the chainsaw at all times. Let's get started. Now when we're limbing, especially in a tree where limbs are in close proximity, or any time, always, we've got to keep very close track of and attention to where the kickback corner of the bar and chain are. Any time that we come in contact with another limb or wood with a chain spinning, we could find ourselves in that kickback position. So we want to keep the saw positioned closely to us. We want to keep ourselves from standing in that kickback zone. Let's keep good control of the saw at all times. <laughs> 